Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 105 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6 and 5.7. And in this video, uh, we are going to uh, work on forgot password feature. Uh, we forgot to uh, do this forgot password feature in the beginning, uh, but uh, now we will do this one. Uh, we are going to add uh, here forgot password link and uh, this forgot password feature is useful for those users who forgot their password. Means in case you have registered your account in this e-com website and after a few days you forgot your password, uh, then uh, what you need to do, you will click on forgot password link and after clicking on forgot password link that forgot password form will open. Okay, we will make separate page forgot, uh, forgot hyphen password kind of page. We will make that forgot password page the same like this one. And here forgot password form will come in place of logging to your account. And in that forgot password uh, form, uh, we will just uh, means uh, uh, we'll add uh, email uh, field and uh, where the user uh, will fill uh, his email uh, to get the new password in his email. Email, okay, new password we are going to generate and we'll send the user because uh, in uh, in Laravel. In Laravel 5.7, in Laravel, uh, uh, we can't uh, uh, know the password of the users. That is the uh, security hash functionality uh, that the Laravel used to provide, uh, so that uh, even the admin can't able to know the password of the users. That is really fantastic functionality uh, that the uh, that Laravel or other like uh, other MVC uh, like Cake PHP and other uh, also used to provide uh, and it's really good because uh, when the uh, when the client when the admin not going to know the user password then user will feel uh, means really uh, uh, means uh, uh, really comfort means uh, it's good for the user to use your website means the user uh, can feel that uh, that his uh, password his data is not going to stolen okay so, uh, so we are going to generate this new password and we'll send to user. Okay, let's start working on this, uh, this forgot password feature. Okay, so first of all, we are going to update this login research blade file. Okay, then let's open this one, login research blade file. And here we will add uh, one uh, link, uh, means after login, we will add here uh, one link of forgot password like this okay so we add like this url after that forgot password like this okay so we are going to sorry for that so we are going to add this forgot password here like this and we're going to close and after that forgot password So this one, uh, this route we are going to create, okay? So we can mention here this in the URL and forward password, okay? So here also we will add one break, okay? Now you can see here uh, forward password. Uh, yeah, now it comes here forward password. Uh, straight away after login, if some person uh, forgot his password, he can click on this link and um, to means generate the uh, new password means to uh, to get the new password in his email okay so uh, now uh, i am going to create this route in a, a route i'm going to create in this web.php file okay uh, straight away we can create after login register okay yeah after this we can create here we will uh, create that get and post both uh, because uh, we also uh, need to allow the email from the user in post method, and then uh, okay, and also uh, we require to open that page. So uh, that is uh, we will do with get method. So both are required in this case. So we will do that route and match match will come uh, for both. Okay, so we will add get as well as post. You can use any as well, but any 
also uh, means accept put and back methods so it's better if you will take like this get and post otherwise you can take any as well okay so get post you know, we have added like this after that uh, we are going to add user controller and uh, in this one oh, sorry uh, we forgot to add uh, that the uh, url uh, that is our forgot password url that we need to add here forgot password okay like this and after that user controller and after that again you know, forgot password uh, we will make the function of for, for the password you can do like this also forgot password like we have done all okay uh, now this forgot password we are going to create this function of forgot password in user controller okay let's do that controller here we can create after login and visitor and here we can create okay public function for the password okay uh, right now we can do like this but later on uh, we will update with the request method uh, right now we are not sending anything so we can just simply th then return view we will write here and we are going to create the blade file of for the password and here we will add users dot forgot password okay forgot underscore password okay you can add it like this and you can see here the same thing we have done with the visitor as well uh, sorry login visitor another thing another page you can uh, close all like this so that it will be easier to uh, see that this function and this is the login function ah see user login listed this one a login underscore listed this one also located in users folder and here also located in users folder forgot underscore password okay so you can see uh, we have done this one same thing we have done for forgot password now uh, just we need to add the file in the uh, folder okay so see you user here we are going to add the file same like login register we will add the file here Okay, so our file is ready. Now we can open the forward password. Okay, so forward password uh, here uh, we can copy from the login register. Same file we can copy and make changes. Uh, no need to create complete file again. So here we can uh, rename this one login to your account. We can uh, uh, place forward password here like this forward password. Okay. Then here also we are going to uh, miss add here for group password form. So update this one as well for dot password form. Okay. So here as well we will give it for group password. See, uh, we will return back the user to uh, same route okay so that's why we have done post and and that page itself is cat okay used for as cat so here uh, we require only email in for for the password password we already don't know so uh, that that's why we uh, just require email so that uh, the new password uh, will be sent in the email okay uh, so uh, email uh, we have added here and email address is there and this link we need to remove for the password link so we not add and this one we can also remove for the timing yeah, like this okay. okay so here we can add submit now we can refresh this page we can go 
to this page and we'll do the press here and we'll go uh, to that four group password page that we have just created okay so uh, structure route uh, we are going to see where is the issue uh, user and let's see and register oh we forgot to put semicolon okay that's why issue has come okay now we can refresh once again and we'll see okay i'm going to click on folder password see for the password uh, page has come and here we have written forgot password and uh, here uh, means email uh, address uh, we need to give okay uh, okay we say wait uh, we can also add that html5 validation we can add straight away uh, we can add here uh, required okay like this because a type email we already be having and also add this uh, required here we forgot to add earlier on oh, sorry we'll test gone. Uh, okay yeah also add this required uh, here for login register as well because we forgot uh, so we can add simply to save the time required required okay so we can check that the required is looking fine yeah because login yeah. refreshing see now see okay the fields are required now if i will remove we need to fill the fields okay here as well for the password if i will not fill this field and we'll try to again pitch field out this field okay so now it's fine and we can close this one this one is not required okay so uh we able to add that field email field we able to add uh in forgot password uh form okay so uh now we will try to uh post email to get the password uh to read to that uh, for the password function okay so for that uh, now uh, we will add here uh, request dollar request okay as we are now going to post uh, the data into this function so that's why now if condition will come to post the data dollar request here uh, we will use is method post is method post means if data is coming in post then it will come in this condition okay so here we are going to add dollar data equal to dollar request okay so uh, first we are going to see whether email is coming fine or not you can always debug your code like this and we'll add this one as well okay so now uh, we are going to uh, see that whether it will work fine or not i'm going to refresh here and we'll use one of the email id uh amit of yourmail.com see here it is coming fine amit hundred of yourmail.com but here we need to add one condition that if email does not exist that it will go back and will show error message okay uh, you can also do this thing in ajax but uh, right now uh, we are going to uh, add this condition in simple php means in simple laravel okay so uh, here uh, i am going to disable this one and we will add the condition here i'm going to use that user count okay like user count mm, from user and where see i can uh, compare email uh, with this email is coming here because we are adding email we can compare that email uh, in the user table and if that email exists then count will come as one otherwise count will come as zero okay 
and if count will come as zero then we will return back the user uh, we show the error message to the user that uh, email doesn't exist okay so this one we will do return redirect back uh, with error message slash message sorry message error Here we will write like email does not exist. Okay. So over here, fine. Now we can refresh and we see here. Uh, sorry, here uh, we need to uh, show here in uh, any case we will uh, make it tight. Okay. So, see uh, if email exists, like this email exists, and I am going to click on submit. Then, uh, see this email does not exist. Okay, so that's why this error has come. Email does not exist, and if email exists, then nothing happens. Then we could die, and it stops here. Okay, uh, otherwise, if you will add some email like I mean 200 at the does not exist, then uh, you you click on submit and it will show you email does not exist okay so uh, you can display any message you want okay you can uh, display that uh, you have put uh, wrong email in forward password uh, form please enter correct email if it's your wish that which method you can uh, which wording you can how uh, you want to put uh, but here uh, we just want to specify that if email uh, does not exist then the error message will come otherwise no error message will come and we will start sending the email for good password email to user okay uh, now uh, in next video we are going to create that for good password email uh, we are going to generate the random password for the user and we'll send that password uh, to user but we are first going to encode that password so that uh, it will be encoded in such a form uh, of Laravel that can't be decoded again. Okay, so all that that we will do in next video. So stay tuned for next video. Okay, then I hope that everything is clear to you up till now. And in next video, we will finish this for the perfect feature and we'll continue with other features as well. Okay, then have a nice time. Goodbye.